everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I am really excited to bring you from our friends at Stampendous, truck load cutting dies, and the Window Rama Dome Jar Shaker Card Cutting Dies. These are really fun to play with. Um, I made some shaker cards to show you and some cute little truck cards that are seasonal, so come play with us. This great little die set, the truck load cutting dies, um, is great for all seasons card. As you can see, I made this first one for fall. It also comes with these handy little stencil, and I used this stencil to um, make a little road on the background of my gray cardstock. Put it down like this. You can see I colored the trees here green and then used gray ink to go around for the road. Um, these little trees, adorable and very versatile. I I would use these on a lot of projects. They also have Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, or you could mix those up and Happy Christmas and Merry Birthday, I suppose. Um, and the little pumpkins, this cute little adorable dog. I did some inking on my trees and it was actually really easy to do this inking because each of these little boughs lifts up. And so I was able to just go ahead and take my ink pad and do that. Um, the same here. You could paper piece these little pumpkins and cut them apart and maybe use some of this cute little Dotted Duo's um, orange uh, paper right there. I think that's from Dotted Duo's paper pack number three. It's a great one for fall. Um, you could paper piece out these pumpkins with different little stripes of paper, but I just went ahead and kept it simple and just inked the edges there. Um, really fun little card and um, used some dark, uh, burgundy along the edges and kind of just blended that in really cute. And then here's another cute little card. This one I used um, a great new paper pack from Hot Off the Press called Snowfall. As you can see it's got these great trees in the background. The snow's already there and little deer peeking along the side. I just used the bottom corner of the paper to achieve that. Um, cut my truck from blue cardstock, inked it with navy blue ink. Same trees before. This time in the truck bed, it's got a cute little um, uh, package there. And then I used red ripple holographic cardstock for both uh, the words here and the little bow. And of course, we had to put our little black lab right there in the truck. Very cute. All right, and I also wanted to show you using the Window Rama. Oops. So here's Window Rama. Um, just if you don't want to make a shaker card, I wanted to show you um, a couple of different ways to do this. So black cardstock um, is going to be making the background here. I should have taken this out of the package, so let's try that now. All right, so these dies also super versatile. So I'm using this die right here to cut two pieces of the structure. And I'll show you how to actually do this with the next card. So um, cut this out twice, and that's your cardstock structure. And then when you're cutting out a window, you die cut from one of those pieces. Oops, and I used one of these ovals right here for that. And then I used, once again, that great wood and textures paper pack in the back. And then I used these adorable little from Dee's Distinctively cutting dies. Um, I used the pine boughs and the cardinal and then this cute little winter robin and put those right in there and made a nice little scene. And as you can see, I borrowed the Merry Christmas from the truck cutting dies. So let me show you another one. Here's how you put together a shaker card, okay? So this one uses Snowfall paper pack um, again, and then uh, we made our little window here, and I decorated the inside back of that with these great dazzle snowflake stickers in all kinds of colors, and then I used um, these great little sequins, what are these called? Blizzard, and it comes with a little tin like this. I've used about half of it, so you're going to get a whole lot more in your particular container. Got sequins and little snowflakes, and that's what I used for my shaker material. So, just tap it like this, and all these little, you can get your own little snow globe. And these great are great because they lay flat for mailing. Just hold them down like that, and then they're flat. So, let's put one of these together. I'm going to make the gumball machine. So, for the gumball machine, um, I first die cut 
a background piece like this. All right, and then I went ahead and used the Happy Birthday again from the uh, truckload cutting dies. And then I cut those out of silver linen and put those in the back. And then I went ahead and I cut a window using one of the two window shapes here that come in the die set. Die cut that. And then I went ahead and glued some acetate into the inside of that window on the back. And then I just did layers of foam tape. And I found that using the foam tape, giant wheel of foam tape, this is great. You can get this at Paper Wishes. And it's under $20. And it's um, 50 yards or 150 feet of continuous foam tape, which is great when you're making things like shaker cards. So I cut it into long strips. I've actually got two layers of it because I want to give it enough space um, for my shaker material. And then, because this is a gumball machine, I die cut some little circle gumballs. So we need to put those in there. And then I wanted a little bit of some loud shaker material. So these are Limeade and Very Cherry Sprinklets Embellishments. We're going to take a pinch of the red one, I think. Put that in there. And we can go ahead and put a pinch of the green. All right, now they recommend putting um, another window shape, the larger of the two window shapes, right here. But I found that it just left too much of my um, foam tape exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of the rectangles that are in there because this part is just not going to show at all. It's going to be on the inside of my card. And I don't want to have any sticky stuff. So I'm just going to seal that. And it's important to make sure that that acetate is really connecting with that foam tape. Okay. So then on the other side, I've already glued. This is my um, red ripple holographic cardstock and also the silver linen cardstock. Use those cutting dies. And then you're just going to glue the sides together just like that. And then you're going to have this adorable little shaker card. And as I said, you can just fold them flat to mail. And they're just lots of fun to get those in the mail. So you guys, we've got a great money saver on both of these sets. So I'd encourage you to check that out. If you're watching us um, on our webisode page, you just want to look to the right and you'll see a photo um, of the money saver you want to click on that and if you're watching us on youtube then look below the uh, video in the description box for the links to the money saver as well as paperwishes.com you'll find lots more videos to watch and lots of fun things to play with thanks for joining me today and i will see you next time